What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. I don't know where Jordan 1 mids got so popular all of a sudden, but here we are. So today we're taking a look at a really, really dope Jordan 1 mid. You guys can tell from the title exactly what the sneaker is. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mid Equality for the 2019 Black History Month collection. This is a really, really nice shoe. Like, y'all know when Black History Month comes around, I always look forward to the Black History Month collection to see what Nike's got going on. Nike has some really, really dope stuff this year for the Black History Month collection. My personal favorites were the Kyrie 5, and I actually did an unboxing on the Kyrie 5. You guys can see in my Atlanta pickups video. And this one right here, the Jordan 1 Mid. This Jordan 1 actually seemed to be the most highly coveted sneaker out of the entire collection. And again, it's a mid. So I don't know how mids all of a sudden got so popular, but somebody at Jordan brand must have decided that they were really going to start pushing mids in 2019. And there's been some amazing colorways, a patent leather black with a white and gold colorway, the new top three colorway that's come out with all the different colors in it. And now we have these here, the Jordan 1 Equality for Black History Month. The thing that's most impressive to me about this sneaker is the material. So let's take a deeper look at the shoe. Starting with the upper of the shoe. Now, again, it looks like it's just a plain sail or white and black colorways, just white and black. I think Nike is keeping with this white and black theme for equality, similar to what they did with the new LeBron 16. They made a home and away colorway that were inverted black and white on both of the shoes, just kind of symbolizing that black and white can both live harmoniously, all that jazz. But again, looking a little deeper at this shoe, the quality of the leather on the sale here and the quality of this suede or this new buck on the black is what's so impressive to me. You guys can see there as that new buck moves back and forth as my finger rubs against it right by this wings logo here very premium new buck material going around the sneaker not only that but you guys can also see around the collar of the shoe how nice and premium this leather is as well you may be able to see it a little bit better here on the toe box how premium that leather is when i push it in you can see how it reacts to my finger really really nice let's get into the swoosh real quick and look at all of these different patterns that are inside of the swoosh here now to me this represents kente cloth if you guys are not familiar with what kente cloth is it's an african cloth that uses different designs different patterns and textures for traditional garments that they wear in africa such as dashikis head wraps things of that nature now you also have a sail midsole as well and you have a nice black outsole on the shoe as well on the heel of the shoe you see the word equality in these kind of futuristic type of characters going around the heel of the shoe as well. The sneaker comes with standard black laces, but you also get a pair of white laces as well, just in case you feel like switching it up a little. Finally, on the tongue, you get that Mellow logo for Carmelo Anthony. This is a Mellow sneaker through Nike and Jordan brand. Which made me pause a little bit, because I get that this is a Black History Month sneaker, but my problem right now is that it feels like from a corporate perspective, Nike and Jordan brand are trying to revive the struggling Mellow brand by integrating little pieces of Carmelo branding into sneakers that they know are going to be highly coveted like these and I guess I get it it's a good way to bring money in and to be able to put money on the books showing that Carmelo's brand is rising and that Carmelo sales are strong again but Carmelo don't have nothing to do with this sneaker this sneaker don't have nothing to do with Carmelo Anthony or anything remotely close to Carmelo Anthony I am sure that Carmelo promotes equality for all different races but it's not got nothing to do with him but the problem is that other Carmelo Anthony sneakers that we have seen in the past released by Jordan brand usually fall all flat and they don't sell very well. So how do you go to your corporate meetings and show that sales for a particular offshoot brand of Jordan brand are popping? You slap the logo onto a sneaker that you know everybody is gonna wanna buy anyway. And that bothers me from a corporate perspective. It kind of takes away from the Black History Month element. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I get, I like Carmelo as a player. Carmelo is a phenomenal basketball player. But from an overall perspective of the shoe, why not put the BHM logo on the tongue for this shoe? I don't know why they didn't do that. Well, I do know why they did that. Basically, they didn't put the BHM logo on this sneaker because they wanted to boost Carmelo's portfolio for his sales for his personal brand at Jordan Brand. I got it. But to me, it's just not a good touch. And Jordan Brand did this previously with the Air Jordan 19 drop in Flint Gray that dropped recently. They slapped Carmelo Anthony's logo on the insole of the shoe where nobody would really see it, 
But by that, they could officially brand it as a Mellow sneaker for the Mellow line. They found photos of Carmelo wearing the Jordan 19s from his rookie year from Sports Illustrated, put two and two together, and they found that as a great way to put Mellow's name on a sneaker that they felt was going to sell anyway. But if you notice, they didn't put Mellow nowhere else on that sneaker. Why? Because they probably felt like putting Mellow anywhere else on the sneaker might have caused people not to want to buy the shoe as much. So they hid the logo in the insole of the shoe so that people would just see it as a normal, organic, regular Air Jordan retro release. Not the case though. I see you, Jordan Brand. And hey, listen, I don't knock the hustle because again, at the end of the day, this is about making money and beefing up sales so that whoever is in charge of the Mellow brand doesn't look bad when they're in front of the head honchos about why sales are failing. But to me, the Mellow on the tongue here kind of took away from the shoe a little bit. I much rather would have liked just a Jumpman on the tongue here or even a BHM on the tongue here. But having Mellow here to me kind of takes away from the shoe a little bit. Not gonna lie about that. But overall, again, amazing sneaker, amazing message. I'll be proud to rock these. They're an amazing shoe. All right, enough of me talking about this sneaker. Sound off below. Let me know what you guys think about the Air Jordan 1 Mid Equality for the 2019 BHM collection. Were you able to cop yourself a pair? Because it looks like the smaller sizes in these are going for a little bit of money extra over the retail market on StockX right now. So if you're able to get your hands on a pair of them, congratulations, especially if you got them at the retail price. Sound off down below. Let me know what you guys think about not only the shoe, but them putting the mellow branding on the tongue. Are you with that or do you just not care? While you're down there commenting, make sure that you click on that subscribe button right there. We would love to welcome you into the Sneaker Fetish family so that you don't miss out on any more heat that I got coming in like these. And I guarantee you, I got a lot more heat on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Taking a look at these with me for a couple of minutes. Unboxing them with me. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mellow Equality from the BHM Collection for 2019. And until next time, I'm out.